Hey guys, Ryu here with another video for Blender. This one I'm gonna show you how to bake multiple objects into a single normal map in Blender. So the reason for doing this would be that when you have objects, you know, being close to one another and you want to bake them onto a low poly. Now this is a low poly, this is a high poly, right? This is the um, the sci-fi wall um, time lapse I dropped yesterday. So that's a high poly and you know that's a low poly, right? So, if you want to bake the high poly into low poly, I got multiple elements here. You can see that. So the problem with baking, um, as such, you know, if I merged everything, would be that uh, rays that uh, are responsible for actually baking normal map would be cast from multiple directions uh, onto you know several objects at the same time, and this would cause basically over baking. So certain elements from you know maybe this pillar will end up on being baked on this front piece here, and you know and so forth and so on. So now in order to prevent this from happening, we would be exploding mesh, meaning we would be moving bits of mesh away from one another and baking them this way, so the rays can be cast from different directions without being you know. Um, without going through other objects but there's a better way of doing it um, in blender now and uh, i'll show you how to do it on you know just one simple example just quickly before we start guys if you would like to improve your skills in hard surface modeling or in blender in general then consider joining our patreon where we have tons of educational materials courses critiques you know decal packs etc there's a fantastic course coming to february uh, for add-ons and vanilla we're gonna have some cool spaceship with sub demodeling and bullions and also some unreal engine stuff so check us out link in the description thanks so we're going to turn the high poly on and also remember that you need to turn on the uh, visibility in render engine otherwise it's not going to work now i'm not going to be doing this for every single element element because there's no uh, no point so i'm just gonna uh, back the floor high to floor low let's go to our um uv space so where is it um uv edit that's the one um hang on hang on hang on i think i collapsed this so i'm just going to fix it and turn UV editing here. Where is it? This one. And grab our shade editor here. Okay. And let's move these maps away from one another. So, um, and turn off this. We don't need it. Okay. So, what you need basically, right, is just a BSDF mat running on the low poly. So, if you don't have material, um, doesn't have to have a color it just can be a very generic one now what you need here is an image texture so we're going to add um, texture and image texture and here we need to create an um, image to which we're going to be baking so uh, let's create new and let's make it 4k okay so 496 um, and we're gonna just copy Control c Control v and we don't really need alpha but it's, we can just keep it but what we need is this 32 bit float um we need the resolution and um, then zoom out and press n go to image and make sure you're gonna change to non-color data because you know it's a normal map so uh, for this you don't need color and you don't have to connect anything here uh, all you need to do is literally uh, make sure that this name it's linked here so just find it a list and boom you connect it so whatever bakes in here is gonna be you know baked into the low poly so now we're gonna select the high poly and control select a low poly go to render settings and go to cycles you need to be in cycles for this to work because baking works only in cycles now the number of samples you can leave at default 128 that's okay um it's not really that important and we're going to go to baking so here and we're going to bake a normal map and then make sure you tick this one selection to active so you're going to bake from selection to active right and make sure you're going to put some extrusion and max ray distance now extrusion is for the high poly to be slightly um outside the low poly and the um, ray distance basically is the distance of rays being cast on on the object i wouldn't go too high you might get some artifacts you, you basically have to play with these numbers but you know 0 0.01 0 0.02 to maybe 0 0.03 
it's fine. I would recommend keeping these two uh, identical and click on clear image. Okay. And we're going to click on bake. So now this, what it, it will do, it will bake uh, this information of the floor um, onto this uh, map. Okay. And it's going to just be a bit of it. Okay, so, so now you can see that only this piece of map was baked and now what i want to show you is that if i'm going to select all the low poly objects and go to face mode you will see that i got, um i don't think everything is selected hang on there we go you see that i have my uh, uvs already unwrapped so it bakes to the uv space that it's uh, you know uh, assigned to that floor okay so and that's how it works now if I wanted to, for example, um, you know, bake the net, or well, let's bake the front because this one is big, actually, you will see a lot. So, wall front and control click on um, wall front low, and we're gonna click on bake. Now, if I'm gonna keep this clear image um, ticked on, it will actually erase this and bake to the map a new, you know, information. But if I'm gonna take this off, and then go to again floor high and floor low and click on bake now this information is going to be retained and i'm going to get this floor information baked in here and that's how you can bake the entire map of every single object into this uv space right onto one normal map and you can bake every single map in the same way now the advantage of programs like for example substance painter and others is that you know you can do it with one click Unfortunately, in Blender, you need to do a bit of fiddling, but it's possible, um, you know, and the maps are fairly clean, to be honest. So it's, it's, you know, it's not too bad. It's actually not too bad. You're going to get some artifacts, but, you know, no bake is perfect. Okay. Also, um, if you get artifacts on a flat surface, meaning on the uh, neutral surface, um, then you don't really have to worry about it because you can go to Photoshop and clean it up. Um, so it's not a big deal, but again, no bake is going to be perfect. If you want to have really good bakes, you should probably be using something like Mamoset Toolback uh, because that's the, you know, dedicated baker, literally. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the vid. Hope you learned something useful. This wall was created with hard ops and box cutters. So if you need these add-ons, there's a link to a bundle in the video description. Thank you for watching. Catch you in the next video.